keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> I don't know what my body's doing. I don't know if it's giving us extra time, extra chances. I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Good morning vlog. I just took an ovulation test and it still looks pretty good. I'm still reading about a four point, or no, a point forty four, which my pre-mom app says that anything greater than a 4.0 is still considered high, not high, like peak high, but like still within the ovulation window. So that's cool. I'm still, you know, within the window. By the way, I stabbed myself when I was brushing my hair. So don't worry about that. Not a bug bite, not a hickey, clearly. It is a nail jab. <laughs> anyway, so I went ahead and looked it up again and I am today seven days past my peak point, which is enough time to do the proof. So I wanted to go ahead and do that with you guys today and see how simple it is. I have only ever opened this. I've never looked at what is inside. So this is going to be a first-hand look for both of us. <laughs> so the package opens just like this, kind of like a letter, like an envelope. Oh, it all comes out together. Okay. So it's got this little reading test dip part here, handle here. Okay. So I guess this is like a little template that you can like lay your tests on and take a picture. Oh, there's a Prove app. Cool, cool, cool. Let me download the Prove app really quick. So yesterday I took an ovulation test and it read at a point 36 but it was like after I had been drinking a lot of water like I've been trying to drink a lot of water you guys know that it was a little diluted I think this morning it was still a point 44 so it's still reading like you know my ovulation is still like in the window what is it called prove probably the prove app is what it's called that's what it looks like in the in the store if you decide to get it just called the prove app so and it's only got 18 reviews so we'll see um but anyway so i do have my first morning urine here that's what i used to take my ovulation test with this morning so i'm gonna go ahead and just dip one of these it is a five minute dip or a five second dip and a five minute read let me just make sure i'm not lying to you it says important Failure to use first morning urine or read between five to ten minutes after the dip can lead to inaccurate results okay good to know you have to create an account how annoying okay i don't know if we're gonna be using the app just yet i don't know there's a bunch of hoopla all right so this is what the test looks like very similar to ovulation and pregnancy tests little stick tests and is it a five second dip five to ten seconds so we'll dip it for 12. no we'll <laughs> mississippi to mississippi the dip for 10 mississippis that should be fine to read with, hopefully. All right, I did put it on the template just to like get the whole experience. I'll show you in just a second what it looks like. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Your timer is set for five minutes. Okay, so this is what the little template looks like. I did download the app. However, to use the app, you have to like create an account and all that stuff. So I haven't done that yet. I'm just gonna wait to see what the window shows. You can kind of see a line already starting right Right there so I'm gonna see exactly what it says but while I'm waiting for that to develop um, I did put a timer on for five minutes as you guys heard I'm gonna read the instructions a little bit more to see exactly what we're looking for what a positive result looks like all that good stuff all right so seven to ten days after peak fertility yes it is seven days so it might still be a little early to get a um, positive test with this because I'm at the very first day that you can test but I just wanted to see what it said and try it out reading your results uh, negative proof results are unique as you are the darkness of the second line can vary a lot from woman to woman. As long as the second line is visible, the test is considered negative. Positive result during the window means the PDG levels elevated during testing window. This may indicate a, ses a successful ovulation cycle. So it is a little different. We are looking for one solid red line instead of two. Normally with the ovulation and pregnancy test, we're looking for two te or two lines. We're not looking for two lines. We're looking for one line. I do see one line already developing. Mm, a second line may, may be developing very, very faintly. I can kind of see it. That would indicate a negative result, which means that I tested too early or the uh, there was no ovulation this month. We shall see after five minutes. Reading a little bit more of the instructions instructions, it does say that the time to take the proof test is on day seven, eight, nine, and 10 after your peak fertility date. So I have four tests total and I do have four tests left. So I guess they give you an extra one and it says to record each 
day. So they do give you peak plus seven, peak plus eight, peak plus nine, and peak plus 10 here so that I can track it and know my, my results. That's kind of cool, I like that. It does seem like it is a one-time use type of thing rather than a like ovulation where you buy like a whole bunch of ovulation sticks and you can just hang on to them until next time you need them. It seems like they want you to use the entire pack as it comes so that you can get the most accurate result, which I appreciate. I'm not sure if it's gonna pop up. It doesn't look like that second line is gonna pop up, but it there is a very, 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 very faint second line. So I don't know. We still have about a minute, I think, on the timer. Yeah, we have exactly a minute. So we'll see. Oh, the timer just went off. So um, I think this one is going to be a negative. Let's look at it together. So obviously you can definitely see that first red line. The second red line is right there. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it on camera because it's so 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 faint but it is it is there i think you guys can see it now yeah you can kind of see it so per the instructions as long as the second line is visible the test is considered negative i can see that second line um that line is is there i mean it's very faint but it's there i don't know if you can see it in this kind of lighting it is there so i think i'm gonna go ahead and just mark it as a negative and keep testing obviously as it wants me to let me get let me get a pen i don't have a pen okay oh was i supposed to get a baseline test wait what Oh, I already messed up. I was supposed to use the prove to take it one day after my period begins or after my period ends as a control test. Like this is the baseline, basically like what is normal for me. Shoot, dang, I didn't know that. That's okay. We'll still test day seven, eight, nine, ten, and hopefully the second line will disappear shortly after. I mean, it's so faint already. I feel like this is either my baseline or this is gonna fade away eventually. So it's okay though. I didn't, I should have read the instructions. So what I did and why I didn't do the baseline is because I read it back here that I'm supposed to, oh, I see, start cycle, you're supposed to take baseline. Cause I, yeah, that was user error. My bad, that was my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, it's okay. We'll still do seven, eight, nine, ten, 10 and see what it says. So basically you're supposed to get a baseline to see what your body's natural you know, baseline looks like so that if there is like this faint line, this could just be my baseline, but it's fine. All right, so cycle day seven. What is today's date? You're gonna have as a negative. Dang it, man. I can't believe I didn't read the instructions. I was just like, oh, it says seven days after. So that's what I'll do, seven days after. <sighs> that's okay. Oh, when was the last day of my first period? Ugh. So I am gonna go ahead and create an account in here just so I can see like what the app gives you. And this is not sponsored, obviously. I bought this off of Amazon. Clearly it's not sponsored, <laughs> but I just wanna see what it's all about. I think it's a 28 cycle, 28 day cycle. I am trying to conceive. I just registered for it and it logged me back out. Okay, so I guess I should have downloaded the app because the app is literally going step by step. One, take a baseline. Two, track fertility. Three, confirm ovulation. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I didn't get a baseline, but I wonder if I can do an LH test. This is not a baseline though. This is after the fact. I don't know if it'll let me skip this step, which is a little unfortunate. I'm getting a little frustrated because I just wanted to take a picture and track the prove results, but it's trying to have me track and test my LH hormone, which I do in the pre-mom app already. Frustrating. This is not what I wanted to do. No, that's not an LH, it's prove. I don't know if it's wanting me to log my my easy at home sticks or what, because it has like this weird chart, right? This chart here. And I manually set my peak fertility on the 30th. Okay, that's what that means. You got like the period and then this is peak and then this is the test that I just took. But for some reason it's saying it's an LH hormone and it's not. Like when I go into tests, it says that like I need to read a peak and this is a low, like a low test, but this is not an LH test. This is a, this is a proved test. Am confused. Help. Send help. And then it says testing is complete. It won't even let me add any more test results. So I'm just like, what is happening? What is happening? All right. Well, besides the app, I can definitely see the line. I don't know if this is my baseline because I didn't take a baseline test, but we are still going to test uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and see if the line disappears so that I can get a positive ovulation 
Um, if not though, my body is very regular. I have regular periods, I have regular ovulations usually, and we have done literal blood work to make sure that I am ovulating in the past before even going and seeing a fertility specialist. So I kind of already know that I am ovulating. This was just more to give a review of the product and also to like get confirmation at home without having to do the blood work about it. But I have confidence that my body is still doing what it needs to do and that I probably did ovulate even if I don't track it with the proof test. So enough with the TTC talk that I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. That is what I did today, what I did this morning. I'm excited, like I said, hopefully this will be our month. If not, we are gonna go the, um, the IVF route. I think I discussed that with you guys earlier that I'm just kind of tired of waiting around for it to happen and I'm ready to make it happen. So yeah, we went ahead and decided that if this isn't our, this isn't our cycle, then we're gonna just start the IVF thing. Oh yeah, I did tell you guys cause I went on the phone and I told you about how expensive it's gonna be and about like the finance and stuff so but yeah so anyway I am going to get to work for a little bit but I wanted to say good morning let you guys get that update and uh, I'll probably see you around lunchtime hey so it is the afternoon I've got my baby picks him up from school I'm officially done with work off of work and now I am trying to find motivation to keep editing and I I'm doing this real estate class because I don't think I told you guys, but I think I'm going to start doing real estate. I'm doing a license class so that I can get my real estate license in Florida. It's just like a side project that I have going on, but what the heck was that? Mm -hmm. Was it on the couch? What was that noise? Not me. It sounded like something just hit our roof. I know. Uh, let me go outside and check. Anyway, um, that's just gonna be like a side project, um, the real estate thing. So I'm working on that too, but let me go outside really quick and check to make sure there's nothing on my roof. <laughs> Nothing, that was weird. It sounded like a big boom and it sounded like it was on my roof. So that was very strange. Anyway, uh, so I'm trying to find the motivation to keep doing some work, but I am honestly just so tired. So I think I might try to find a snacky maybe, maybe a little snacky snack. Um, I'm honestly exhausted today. Ooh, focus. Today was exhausting. Um, we got some news that there is gonna be a restructuring happening and my department is affected and I'm just, <sighs> we're looking at jobs and we're looking to evaluate jobs and really assess if jobs are necessary. And my job is one of those jobs that they're like looking at. And I'm just, today was a very long day. Today was a very long day. I've had lots of discussions with co-workers and other people figuring out how they feel about everything and it's just like you know nobody kind of saw this coming like this dramatically so it's just a really big change about to happen and uh, I hate change I don't know if you guys knew that but I literally hate change I am one that likes consistency and that's change is not consistent so that kind of uh, took it all out of me today I usually have a good amount of energy whenever I get off of work but the meetings, back-to-back -back meetings that I had today, just, and like the, the outlook, the morale is definitely down now and just tired. I'm just physically tired. So um, I'm probably going to eat the leftover soup that we had last night for dinner because soup, especially tomato bisque soup is like my comfort food. So we only have like a tiny bit left. So I'm probably just gonna gobble this up. Probably going to watch some TV, maybe climb up in bed and just have like a quiet moment <laughs> to myself. And then maybe, maybe get on my bike and do some working out today. Why am I looking orange? Very strange. Anyway, uh, maybe get on my cycling bike and do some workouts because anytime I'm feeling weird like this, I try to try to turn it into a positive. <laughs> and um, cycling is one way I know I can make myself feel better. So I'm gonna eat some soup and then I'll probably see you later. So I am just lounging in bed. I don't know if you guys do this, but this is something that um, 2020 taught me. Whenever you need a moment, take a moment. <laughs> 
So I am just laying in bed. I'm going to be editing for the next couple of hours and just disappear for a little bit. So I might end the vlog early. This might be my goodbye or we may cook dinner later whenever Manny gets home. I'm not sure yet. I just need to take a mental moment for myself and that means lay in bed, maybe edit, watch some YouTube, chill with my girls and just disconnect for a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Good evening vlog. You might be able to tell it has been a few hours since last time we spoke. Um, I have had dinner, I have actually taken a shower, took care of myself, did a little self-care, skin care, and I did take another ovulation test tonight because I wanted to see where I was at and I wanted to share it with you. This one here was from tonight and as you can see it is a little bit darker than the one I took this morning. <laughs> and it's actually measuring at a 4.8. So I think I am gonna go ahead and try to do the impregnator again tonight. Um, we tried yesterday and I told you guys the complications that I had with it, but I think we're gonna give it another try tonight. We did clean it as it said to be clean. We might give it another go and you know, see how it goes from there. I am gonna try to hold it in for the 15 minutes. It's gonna be very weird, but again, that's what the instruction said to do, so. Anyway, um, keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> I don't know what my body's doing. I don't know if it's giving us extra time, extra chances. I don't know, but I'm not complaining. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that we're gonna give it another go. Hope for the best, pray for the best. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for the night. I will let you know how it goes in another vlog, but keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, smack that subscribe button down below. Join the family, join the journey. We would love to have you. Again, I love you and I hope to see you in the next one.